everyone it's lemon here and welcome back to my channel and today i am going to be reviewing another alani new energy drink um, before i get into it though just a psa real quick i apologize if you hear any loud background noise my next door neighbor's kids are outside playing in the backyard and they're kind of being loud so that's why so apologies for that but today i'm going to be reviewing orange kiss and at first when I saw this, I thought that it was a repackage of Mimosa, but apparently that is not true. This is its own separate flavor. But I just want to say I love the look of this can, especially the flamingos. They are so cute. And I like how it has a tropical summer vibe, especially because we're, you know, starting to get into the summer season. So this, once again, is vegan gluten-free it has 200 milligrams of caffeine 10 calories per can zero sugar and i'm excited to go ahead and get into this this i believe technically is the third orange flavor that alani new has done if i remember correctly um because mimosa is one of the orange flavors they also have Orange Dreamsicle, and I I believe I reviewed both of those. Um, so this is the third one. It smells like orange soda, basically. It kind of actually smells like Mountain Dew Orange Kickstart. A little bit. But it's more of like a blood orangey smell. Although these aren't blood oranges on the package, I believe. That's basically a very simple orange energy drink. There isn't any other flavors, it's just straight up orange. So it basically tastes like carbonated orange juice, specifically Sunny D. That's nice actually. I do like that. Um, yeah, it's really nice. And there is no weird aftertaste or anything either. That's a really nice orange, actually. Um, it is different <laughs> than Mimosa and Orange Dreamsicle because Orange Dreamsicle is, you know, modeled after a creamsicle, which is basically orange, popsicle, vanilla ice cream together, so it has vanilla. And Mimosa is m more citrusy because i think it also has lemon in there maybe so there's more citrus flavor it's not as strong orange as this one is i like this though this is really nice i don't buy orange flavored energy drinks very often when i purchase energy drinks and i think the reason of why is i don't know what it is about energy drinks specifically but I think a lot of the time that when energy drink brands make orange, it becomes this really acidic kind of orange, like a really fake acidic orange. So I don't like it very much. Like I, I'm going to say it, I don't remember the name of it, but, um, I, if I drink monster, I only like the zero sugar ones and I do not like their orange one at all. <laughs> like it is not good to me. I don't like it, but. I mean, you can tell this is artificial. It's not like the most natural orange in the world, but it tastes more like an orange soda that you would buy, you know, like Fanta or Crush Orange. It just, it's more like a soda and it doesn't have any weird aftertaste like other energy drinks do. I quite like that. I will be buying that again in the future. Um, I'm not sure if this is limited for the summer or anything like that. I don't think so. I think this is part of their regular lineup, but I haven't confirmed that um and before i end this i'm gonna go ahead and talk to y'all about something real quick so number one i did get a comment on my last drink review video when i reviewed pink slush um somebody asked if i had tried um cosmic stardust before and the answer to that is yes but it has been a long time and I've never reviewed it on this channel, so I'm not opposed to reviewing it, actually. Um, I might. So that's number one. Number two is I think I also referenced this in the
the last video, but I was talking about introducing different types of content to this channel because I've been doing drink reviews pretty much forever. I'm not going to stop doing that, but I do want to add some other video to um, other content to, I guess, get more of an, you know, get more of an audience. Like, am I wording that correctly? I don't know. I guess a lot of channels that I watch, there's, you know, people make content that go to like a bunch of different groups. It's not just one. And so I like being a drink review channel, but I also would like to have more content to reach out to other people. And so I basically am letting you know that I am going to be doing that. Not only that, but I do have a video for that planned and I'm hoping that I can film that and upload it within the next week and a half or so, something like that. Um, so, and I'm excited and it's just, honestly, right now it's just a test, you know, if people don't really like, I mean, I want to do it for me. Like it's something that I like and I want to talk about, but you know, it's just an experiment. I just want to see what will happen if I do it. Um, so I just want to let y'all know, just a reminder that it does not mean I'm going to stop doing reviews on things like this. Cause I really don't want to do that. I just want to have more content to my channel. So But thank you guys for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you have anything to say about this video or if there's a review that you want me to do, go ahead and leave me a comment. Like this video if you want. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do it. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Bye!